What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongwer and it's almost winter time and I want to give you five tips on how to take care of your cool season lawn during the winter time. So let's get started. So FYI, real quick, I know I'm going to get questions on this in the comments. These right here are soccer nets. My son, he loves playing soccer. We're out here all the time, almost every day now playing soccer. And that leads me into tip number one on how to care for your cool season lawn during the winter time. Tip number one is to enjoy your lawn. You work through on this the whole year, having a nice lawn. If you did an overseed like I did, you did a, a fall overseed, you fertilized it, you have somewhat green grass like I do. I do have a bunch of papoa throughout. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just embrace the papoa at this point because I've been dealing with it from last year and this year as well. And just enjoy your lawn. Enjoy, it. get out there, even if it's a little cold. We're out here even in the winter time, we're out here playing. Uh, doing baseball, soccer, basketball, you name it. We're out here. If we can get out here and it's nice enough and it's not totally, totally freezing, we're out here enjoying that lawn. It's a little bit windy today. Joey, I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number two. Are you going to kick that ball right by me, right? Okay, go kick it. Go. <laughs> Tip number two is don't worry about your lawn over the winter time. Seriously, do not worry about it. If you get snow, you get rain, sleep, whatever, do not worry about it. It's going to come back fine. Like I said, enjoy it. It kind of, it leads me into my first tip. Enjoy it alone, get out there. And, and, and even if it's the ground's frozen or a frost or this or that, the lawn, will, it's going to bounce back. We got snow last year and we were, we were fine. We got, we got more snow that we've, we've seen in the last five years. We got last year here in South Jersey and my lawn was completely fine. It flourished in the, in the springtime, hit it with a heavy dose of fertilizer in early April and everything bounced back. It looked really great. So again, do not worry about your lawn over the winter time. Worry about other things. Tip number three now. And it's if you hate winter dormancy and your lawn is not green anymore and it's going into its dormancy state, paint it. You heard me right, paint it. Last year, I got sent to me in dormant paint. It was their turf paint, put it in my backpack sprayer and sprayed it out. It looked really good. This, what happened was, is like I said, we got snow last year. And after that big heavy dose of snow that we got, that's when I noticed my lawn really did check out at that point and really did start to go brown. And I reached out to them. They sent it to me. Uh, and I, honestly, it worked out really well. Uh, took the steps that they, they showed me. Uh, you know, there was a few little problems. You know, you do have to be careful. It is paint. So if you do get it on your cement, you gotta be careful. It does wash out with a power washer. For some reason you get it on your uh, cement. That's what I did. I got it out my power washer once the, it got a little bit warmer out. But again, it, it looked great. I mean, it looked it looked great for the remainder of the of the winter time. And guys, it's not permanent, guys. It's just paint. Once that lawn starts to grow, and after cutting it, you know, two or three times, it, that paint's gone. And then your your normal natural color of your lawn's going to come out of dormancy. It's going to be fine. So again, these people with this whole, you know. I, I hate to even bring it up, you know, the whole natty, the fake natty thing. It's like, it, 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 if you just want a nice looking lawn, like, and you don't want to do a ton of work, you could paint it. It really doesn't, uh, like I, I said in my video when I did it, there are a ton of professional teams that paint their lawn. Tip number four on how to care for your cool season lawn in the wintertime. And it's a simple one, guys. You can't control the weather, so don't worry about it. Seriously, do not worry about the weather. Like I said, we saw more snow last year than we have seen in the last five years, and my lawn looked fine. I've done two heavy fall fertilizer applications of one pound of N each in September and October, and then I did a small application of a fertilizer that I wanted to try out that I got at a local co-op here in my uh, home state. But other than that, that's it. That's all I've put down. I didn't put down a winter riser, you know, things like that in my lawn. And, you know, got to get down that potassium. It's going to help with that snow mold, you know, things like that. No, I didn't do any of that. Just stuck to my, my regular fertilizer schedules that I did throughout the year. The plan that I put together earlier in the year, I stuck to that plan. And that's all I did. And I did that last year as well. I did one heavy uh, October heavy dose of fertilizer and it got me through the winter time. 
and in the springtime once things warm up your lawn if you didn't overseed it's definitely going to fill in that's what i noticed last year my lawn looked a lot better in the springtime as opposed to the fall time once everything warmed up so again you can't control the weather so don't worry about it again so i'm going to keep bringing this up enjoy your lawn tip number five and it is to get a soil test at the end of winter I did this last year. It gave me a great base reading going into the 2022 season. So I highly recommend if you haven't done a soil test during the fall time is get one done before the springtime. Get an idea of what you have in your soil. Maybe you could tweak your program. Maybe you don't need all the things that you think that you need going into the 2023 season. And you can actually probably save yourself some money. So get a soil test, get a base rating, see what you need for the 2023 season, get it in the springtime. It only takes about a week to do, especially if you get it from Spectrum Analytics, not affiliated. It only takes about a week to get it back. So get into the soil, get your soil test, get it out, get it back. And that's it guys. Just a quick, simple video on how to care for your cool season lawn during the winter time. And honestly, there's really nothing you have to do. I mean, if you think about it, just enjoy your lawn. All these tips are just like fun little tips, things like that. Not even really tips. It's just me telling you guys, enjoy the lawn. You did all this during the fall time, all this fertilizing. If you did your proper fall fertilization, you know, stuff like that, you should be fine. Don't worry about the lawn going into the winter time. It's going to be fine. It's just grass at the end of the day. You see these videos of people telling you, you got to get this brown liquid down or you got to get down this this winterizer down because you know those those prills got to sit in the lawn and they're going to sit there over the winter time for that early spring spring green up no don't listen to any of that crap it's just a bunch of it really is just a bunch of crap just a selling tactic for all you guys to buy fertilizer and just put more money in their pockets so again enjoy your lawn have a good winter time don't worry about the grass it's going to be there in the springtime it's going to come back everything's going to warm up you're going to be good to go so enjoy your winter enjoy the holidays and see you in 2023 if you enjoyed today's video or if you found today's video helpful make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel and if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on tiktok go check me out there and like always guys i'll see you in the next one yeah, you little... <laughs> <laughs>